Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to U.S. History Through Film, as we look at the worksheet to go with the movie Hacksaw Ridge. Um, now, while much of the movie is pretty accurate, there are a number of exaggerations uh, as well, including number four is a slight exaggeration. Desmond didn't actually hit his brother directly in the head with a brick during a fight, but he did at one point throw a rock or a brick at Adam and knock him out. Um, after which their father did point to the picture of the Ten Commandments hanging on the wall, indicating, as in the film, thou shalt not kill. Now, number nine, in which uh, uh, Desmond offers to give blood um, to impress the nurse at the hospital, um, is like a lot of the things in the movie about Desmond and Dorothy's early relationship, partly true, but mostly not. Uh, at the time Desmond and Dorothy met, uh, she wasn't working as a nurse, but was actually selling religious books for the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and the two met through the church. Um, Dorothy didn't become a nurse until after the war, partly because Desmond's injuries made it hard for him to work full-time, and she had to earn money for the family. Although, Desmond did sometimes donate blood, uh, one time walking three miles each way, two days in a row, to donate blood. Um, after a need for blood following a bad car accident was announced on the radio. Number 18, um, their first date, at least in the movie, is to see a film called uh, Prelude to War. Um, uh, part of the series, Why We Fight. Um, and uh, this is... Yeah, it was a series produced um, for soldiers, but also released to the public um, to explain why we were fighting, um, and was uh, was a very popular and highly regarded series of movies, despite being essentially pro-war propaganda. Um, every episode in the series but one was directed by Frank Capra, um, the famous movie uh, producer who would later direct It's a Wonderful Life. Um, Number 31 um, is true. Um, the uh, Dorothy did give Desmond a Bible um, when he left, gave her her Bible. Um, and, uh, let's see, and, and the movie, at least, when Desmond first opens the Bible, it is um, bookmarked um, to the story of David and Goliath. So a nice touch in the movie. Um, and Desmond did carry the Bible all through basic training, where some soldiers did make fun of him for reading it so much, and General made fun of him for being so religious. Um, and he did carry it throughout the war. Um, although they don't show it in the movie, because they thought it would be too corny to include, uh, he lost Dorothy's Bible on Okinawa um, during the events pictured in the movie. But after his fellow soldiers searched the battlefield to find her Bible, and return it to him after the fighting was done. Number 32 is true. Um, he did train at Fort Jackson with the Statue of Liberty Division, as the 77th Infantry Division is known. Um, number 33 um, shows two soldiers playing Mumbly Pay, which is a game kids don't play much anymore because we've gone soft in this degenerate age. Um, but Mumbly Peg is traditionally played by taking your pocket knife and throwing it um, actually as close to your own foot as you can, trying to stick it in the ground without sticking it in your foot. Um, or you may simply compete to see who can throw the knife as far into the ground as you can. Um, it's, uh, it's known as mumbly peg because one uh, punishment for the loser is to have to pull a peg out of the ground with his teeth. Um, at least in some versions. So you may have to pull the winner's knife out of the ground with your teeth. Um, yeah, and kids just don't play with knives much anymore. It's a sad state of affairs. Number 71, we see uh, all Doss can serve. He, um, he doesn't want to serve on the Sabbath. Uh, eventually, though, he did decide he could. After all, Jesus healed people on the Sabbath. And so, um, so Desmond Doss could, too. Um, but otherwise, you didn't want to work on Saturday, Saturdays being the Sabbath, for Seventh-day Adventists. Number 42, they recommend him for a Section 8 discharge, um, just as they show in the movie. That was uh, 
Um, that was the term for somebody discharged because they were psychologically unfit for service, a Section 8 discharge. Number 44, um, Desmond says he can't identify the men who attacked him um, because he never said he was attacked. He said he sleeps pretty hard. Um, well, it was pretty much true. Desmond Doss was harassed by his officers and his fellow soldiers throughout his time in the Army, at least before he started serving as a... Uh, as a medic in combat, and he was beaten severely on multiple occasions. Um, number 46 is, uh, is not true. Um, in the movie, Desmond Doss misses his wedding day because he couldn't get a furlough, um, and that's mostly untrue. He was, he was married uh, while he was in the Army, but they did let him go on leave um, to, uh, for his wedding. He didn't miss out on that. However, there was another occasion um, when he was denied a furlough, which, uh, um, which kept him from visiting his brother Hal before he shipped out for duty with the Navy. Hal, by the way, served on both the Atlantic and the Pacific, uh, including serving on a ship involved in the invasion of Okinawa, uh, depicted in the movie. Um, his hit ship was hit by two kamikaze attacks, and Hal was originally listed as killed in action. Um, but that was a mistake. He uh, was not wounded and even lived till 2007. But Desmond didn't miss his own wedding day. Um, things were rough for, but not quite that bad. Number 50 is partly true. Um, in the movie, Desmond remembers a time when his parents were fighting and he had to take away his father's gun. Um, and this is partly true. Tom Doss was sometimes abusive towards his family when he'd been drinking, but the case when he um, had to hide his father's gun came during a fight um, not between his father and his mother, but between his father and his uncle, his mother's brother, um, although it was um, his mom who told Tom to give the gun to Desmond, at which point um, his mother called the police, and Desmond did always believe that if he hadn't hidden the gun, his father would have shot his uncle. Um, number 51, um, and uh, indeed Tom Doss's entire courtroom appearance is mainly fictional. Uh, now Tom Doss was a decorated World War I veteran. He did earn a silver star in Europe, but he didn't show up in court in his uniform because the case never actually made it all the way to a full court martial. Um, but Tom did get uh, his former commanding, also did not get his former um, commanding officer to intervene. Instead, he wrote to the chairman of the Seventh-day Adventist Church's War Service Commission in Washington, and he made a call to the regimental commander asking if, they re if he had to come up and investigate the situation, um, and they straightened things out. Ultimately, the Army wasn't willing to discharge someone based entirely on his religious beliefs if he did genuinely want to serve, and the Army didn't want, uh, want word of how Doss was getting treated getting out. Um, so again, his, his father made some phone calls, some things happened behind the scenes, but much less dramatic than uh, what's shown in the movie. Uh, number 53 says Desmond could have taken a draft deferment because he had a defense job. That's true. And he worked in a shipyard, um, and, and therefore, like all men working in vital war industries, he was exempt from the draft. Um, he certainly didn't have to volunteer, even if he'd been drafted. He could have been, uh, been allowed to stay home. Um, one of the exceptions to that was if you had done ROTC in college, um, you were almost certainly called up immediately, even if you worked in a vital war industry. But Desmond Doss could have avoided service in multiple ways if uh, he had not felt it was his duty to go. Um, number 56, we see the action of the movie shift to the island of Okinawa, and from here on out the movie depicts the 77th Infantry Division service on Okinawa. Um, although it depicts events that took place over about three weeks, as if they happened in just a couple of days. It also implies this is Desmond Doss's first military action. In fact, though, he'd already served during battles on Guam and the Philippines and already been wounded and received two bronze stars for his service by the time the uh, battle they show in the movie takes place. Now, 58 is true. Um, Doss is told to, uh, to lose his Red Cross markings because the Japanese deliberately targeted medics, and that was true. 
um, as they hope to weaken and demoralize their enemies. Uh, number 60 is true. They did climb up cargo nets. Um, they cargo nets were draped over Hacksaw Ridge to help men climb up. Well, it did mean three volunteers had to climb up to the top of the cliffs in the first place, carrying the nets and dropping them over. And Desmond Doss was one of those volunteers. The movie does exaggerate the height of the cliffs a little bit. They were very steep and very high, um, but not quite as high as the movie suggests. In real life, they're about 30 feet high. Still pretty high to climb up when under enemy fire, um, but not quite as bad as shown in the movie. Um, number 68. Um, shows Desmond Doss praying to, the Lord will let, let him get just one more. Um, and this was the prayer that he reported praying during the Battle of Hacksaw Ridge. Lord, let me save one more. Number 71 is true. Um, again, Irv Schechter was a friend of Desmond Doss in the war, so a historical figure. Um, he died of shock because he had given the plasma that could have saved his life um, to another wounded soldier to save him. Um, number 72 is true. Captain Glover apologized because they would uh, would have to fight on a Saturday. Um, and Captain Glover had once tried to force Desmond out of the army, but by now he'd come to respect him very much. Um, and he apologized they had to fight on a Saturday, and so the entire unit waited uh, until Desmond had prayed before making their attack. Number 73, where after some of the Japanese surrender, one throws a grenade at the Americans, but... Desmond kicks it away is not quite true, um, although pretty close. A Japanese soldier did throw a grenade at them, but Desmond didn't kick it back. Rather, he covered one up with his leg so he would take the blast rather than his comrades. That put 17 pieces of shrapnel into Desmond, and this was the wound that finally took him out of active service. But he waited five hours to be taken off the battlefield, um, and then when he saw a man wounded even worse than he was, asked that his stretcher be used for that man, and then he crawled the rest of the way to the aid station. They left that out of the movie um, because they felt it would be too unbelievable to see him get off his stretcher um, and crawl the rest of the way so someone else could be carried. And due to his many injuries, Desmond was largely disabled after the war, um, including an injury to his left arm from a sniper's bullet on Okinawa that prevented him from going back to his old career as a carpenter. He lost five ribs. He also contracted tuberculosis in the Philippines that eventually led to the removal of one of his lungs. And in 1976, the VA gave him a dose of antibiotics um, that left him deaf until he got a cochlear implant in 1988. Um, number 74 is true, in which uh, a Japanese general is shown committing suicide. Um, this is presumably General Ushijima Mitsuru, one of the top Japanese commanders on Okinawa, who did commit seppuku to atone for the defeat of his army. Number 75 gives the official record of 75 men for the number of men that Desmond had saved. Um, Although he himself wasn't certain, estimates range from 50 to 100, um, and they decided to, to kind of take the average. 76 says he was the first conscientious objector to receive the Medal of Honor. Um, that's true and not true. It ignores Alvin York, a conscientious objector, later convinced to go into battle, uh, who did receive the Medal of Honor too. Um, but Desmond Doss was the first man ever to receive the Medal of Honor without ever carrying a gun. In Vietnam, uh, later, two medics also earned medals of honor, despite refusing to carry weapons because of their religious convictions. Um, those were Thomas W. Bennett and Joseph G. LaPointe, Jr., both of whom died while trying to aid wounded soldiers. Number 77 is true. Desmond and Dorothy um, were married until she died in a car accident in 1991. Um, uh, afterwards, Desmond remarried a woman named Frances May Dumont, um, who outlived him by three years. Desmond dying at the age of 87 in the year 2006, um, as mentioned in number 78 on the worksheet.